Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today, and I hope that you'll take a few moments to share this out on your social media. I want to be able to give you a brief on a subject that is very important uh, that's happening apparently uh, worldwide, and it's something that you should be alerted to. Uh, this particular article deals with the global food crisis as a harbinger of things to come, and we're seeing that take place uh, with the rise of concern, of course, of the economy, the rise of food costs. How does that play into Bible prophecy? We've seen in recent days that this is even more heightened from the recent bridge uh, catastrophe that's taken place there in Baltimore and how important that it is for us to be a people that, is, that are prepared. The Bible says that it is a prudent man that prepares. We understand here on the Gulf Coast uh, how important that it is that we're ready for disasters, for hurricanes and things like that, and how important that it is that every person, according to the scripture, is a person that is prepared. The Bible speaks of that throughout the entirety of the word of God. In this particular article, the concern is the rise of the world food shortages that could lead certainly to a famine, according to this, this particular article, and the scripture in coming days. Even in Europe, where there is well-fed uh, a well-fed continent, this article says, there is increasing concern uh, and unease about uh, future food shortages that could spill over into a global crisis. This is coming from uh, Bloomberg publishing an article, Europe's new security nightmare is food supply. Now, in the brief for us today, the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation chapter 6 how that there will be a time uh, when there will be a rise of economic catastrophe that will result in a food shortage and people having to work all day long uh, for uh, one day's pay in order to be able to feed themselves. According to the scripture in Revelation 6, verse 5 and 6, the Bible says, and when he, the lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ, has opened the third seal, the seals are his wrath, according to the scripture that Jesus brings back here on the earth, uh, and it says, come and see, and I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hands. And he heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. This particular passage of scripture is certainly describing a hyperinflation, uh, extreme measures that is going to take place according to the scripture in Revelation chapter number six, in the tribulation period, if we're already seeing that take place as a sign of things to come, how important that it is that we are a people prepared. Now, it's not to say that the church is going through the tribulation. I do not believe that. According to the scripture, we are saved from the wrath that is to come. Uh, I am a pre-tribulation rapture preacher. I believe that Jesus is coming back as he did for uh, Noah, as he did for Lot, uh, all of these are, and others are uh, examples of what the Lord is going to do for the church to rescue, to rapture the church before these terrible things take place. However, we're living in a period of time where it may get extremely difficult in the days that are ahead. How are we a people that are prepared? What are we going to do? And how can we be able to even serve uh, in the capacity of building the kingdom uh, before Jesus Christ returns in the rapture, what do we need to do? I think it's prudent for us to be a people that is prepared and to be able to let other people know. I think a lot of preparation has to do with making sure that people understand what the truth of the word of God has to say. Matthew 24, Revelation chapter 6 are parallels of that as Jesus describes the times of perilous times, these rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes, and so forth. We're seeing right now these signs that are all around us. And the only question is, th is this, are you ready? Are you prepared? And then are you prepared, helping to prepare other people? I believe certainly that the scripture describes here in Revelation 6 that a day's worth of wages uh, for just one meal, or uh, he goes on to describe as this Greek word that translates out uh, for us, lets us know that there could be a, a gathering of wages amongst people uh, to be able to buy cheaper food, perhaps, and so forth. All of these are indications of what we're seeing right now. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Well, Pastor, how am I supposed to be prepared if this is going to come? 
I'm talking about the ability to tell other people about the return of Jesus Christ, helping people to get into the kingdom. That is the preparation. And then, of course, as you would prepare for any disaster uh, or global crisis, such as COVID was, we have a clear example of what that's all about, then we should be just like... Uh, we do here on the Gulf Coast, people get prepared. They buy supplies and they prepare themselves. That is totally scriptural uh, that you can go all the way back to the Genesis and find that as Joseph was leading the nation of Egypt. These and many, many more uh, particular uh, articles and information, things that are pointing toward the return of Jesus Christ, I'm going to be sharing this coming weekend right here at Pace Assembly. You can log on to paceassembly.org or download the app. It will be exclusively there. And I'm going to be bringing a Prophecy Files update this coming Sunday night, April the 7th at 6 p.m. You'll not want to miss it. It's going to bring you information like this as it ties into the scripture and the return of Jesus Christ and how important that it is that we're ready for that next great event on the calendar of God. I hope that you have been enlightened by today's briefing. And I hope you'll share this out on your social media. Till the next time we get together, just like this, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.